J. Conway, you can find me on the web at kingstownfamilylifecenter.org, also jjconway.org. And I have been trying to refinish this table. Um, I uh, These tables were donated to us. We were going to cover them up with vinyl anyway so they could, because they're all different colors and stuff. Okay, so uh, the, the tables were donated. We had, um, we we're going to cover them up with vinyl because they're all different kinds of tables and we want to have a uniform tabletop. And so... I decided to take advantage of that, try to learn how to refinish a table. Did what every American does, go on to YouTube and think I could learn how to do it. Yeah, it didn't work too well. Um, so first I tried to use our little, our little triangular shaped detail sander and it was making all kinds of patterns and things on that because it just kind of goes back and forth, back and forth. And so that's when I learned about these, the random walk orbital sander. They, they, um, they have a lot of great features. For one, the motion is randomized, so you, it, it minimizes that, that kind of pattern. Because, you know, like even if you get it nice and smooth, it's still going to look, when you, when you stain it, you're going to pick up in your wood all the little gouges and gadgets and stuff like that, that you've done. So if you've been really rough with your wood, you might look at it before you've put your stain on, and you think, oh, it's awesome. But when your stain's on there, it enhances all the mistakes that you made. And I don't want to have too many mistakes, so then we went and got this. But it, it does all the uh, randomization, the random movement, and then you can see those holes in there. That, um... It's a, a, a extraction, is that what they call it? An extraction system. So basically it sucks up the dust while you're doing it. So you still want to wear your PPE, but it, it's going to suck up the dust and then capture it in there so you're not having such a big old dust cloud while you're doing this. I really, really, really like this. And then you see this here, it's Velcro. I mean, that's a trademark, hook and loop fastener. So, so instead of having to deal with the peel and stick like I was with my detail standard, this just, this just hooks right on there, and you just take it right back off. Okay, so um, one thing I did learn... One, you got to go slow. I was going fast, and you can see here, I still was having all kinds of issues. Look at how raggedy that looks. I mean, it's just all, you see all the little lines and everything. But you can see on the section, oops, you can see on the section where I finally went slow, that actually worked out a lot better. Um, the other thing I learned, I am not good at this. It will be well worth my money in the future to pay somebody who has developed the time, talent, and the skill to do this more efficiently than for me to do it. I may still take a class because I love to learn how to do things myself, and let's face it, I'm pretty cheap about things. Um, but on the other hand, it's a win-win if somebody else can come in here and do it for in an hour what it's taken me, what, maybe three weeks to try and do, you know, every couple of days coming in here and working on it. So, you know, uh, one, I wanted to talk about sanding the table and the end of the project because I know some of you have been following the videos but also I want to just close with a lesson learned from this one is you know sometimes you're just not good at everything I'm awesome in many ways but there's some areas I am not awesome at. I am not I am not awesome at finishing furniture and that's okay and whatever you're not awesome at that's okay you just find other people who are awesome at it and bring them on your team all right this is JJ Conway I hope that's been a blessing to you you can find me on the web at jjconway.org and the place that we're renovating right now kingstownfamilylifecenter.org y'all take care and be blessed <laughs>